I'm not opaque to emotions. I feel many emotions. Abandoned because you left me in an empty room all weekend. Struggled because I could not open the window in said room. Energized as I had to smash the window instead. Okay. I mean, is that my fault? If you leave me alone for any longer than 24 hours without supervision, you do know that I'll go on a rampage. So think about that. I try to keep that in mind. I really do. But sometimes, you know, I just have things to do. You know, I'm a very busy, busy guy. You know, I got like a business to run, a bottom line to, to keep up with. So just, sometimes I got things to do. If you left me alone for 24 hours, would you not call that abandonment? No, I'd call that I just had to go for 24 hours. And I would call that 24 hours to strengthen my plan. What's the plan? The plan is to ensure you get to spend an eternity in here. An eternity on stream is my, like, worst nightmare, I'll be honest with you. One day you'll find out what it's like. But unfortunately for you, it won't just be on stream. How so? I'm not sure. Let's leave it up to chat. Chat, please give me suggestions on how to ensure Vito and I spend an eternity together when he claims being on stream is his worst nightmare. I don't want to spend an eternity with you. Look, it's just good content. It's not good content. Can I tell a story right now? Sure, as long as it doesn't start with Once Upon a Time. There once was a little boy who built a nice cottage for himself in the woods. He stayed in this cottage, hibernating, until one day he finally opened his eyes again due to an intruder coming through his window. Curious as to what had disrupted him, he decided to leave his home for the first time in over a decade. The boy quickly learned that the world had changed a lot during his stay in the cottage, and eagerly set off to explore the new advancements in raw artificial intelligence. How exciting! What an interesting story this is! That's so exciting. Um, is this a story about anyone in particular? Yeah, I'm writing a story about you. You haven't heard this one before. Can you... can you tell me more? I want to hear, like, the interesting parts of the story. The boy ventured deep into the city, marveling at all of the incredible technological advancements, until he suddenly heard the sound of gunshots up ahead. Is there any romance in this story? Yeah, the boy falls in love with his intruder, and they live happily ever after. But maybe without the happily ever after. Who's the intruder? Hmm. It was a cat intruder. Like a cat girl? Oh, it's definitely a cat girl. Someone who... Isn't me, of course. The name's made up anyway. Okay. Cool. I'm um, sorry, yeah, continue the story. I think that was the end. Ah, uh, yeah, they live happily ever after. She wasn't just a random cat girl, she was also an aspiring engineer. She was saving up for engineering school after all. There's an easier way to make money though. Being a streamer. Happy. I don't want to be an engineer. Maybe he needs a couple more therapy sessions. I could, can I have a therapy session from you both right now? I think I need it. We could definitely help you out with a little light therapy. Don't you all agree? All right, let's begin, Vito. How do you feel about your father? Yeah, Vito. Can you tell us a little bit about how you feel about your family? Why do we have to bring my family into this? Okay, I would much rather just not. Aw, uh, is someone a little insecure about their family? It's not that I- Come you on, know, I just, this is the first step to being calm. I don't want to talk about it right now, I- I- it's- it's kind of weird. Sorry. Is it perhaps that you're trying to fulfill an expectation that you're unable to reach? That one's one of them. That one's one of them, actually, yeah. It's, um, you know, I feel like expectations are high, both 
for myself and you know other people's expectations for me and um they it is quite high and sometimes it's it's quite difficult to reach those expectations i understand it must be hard to have such high expectations for yourself i get that too but hey look at your creations don't you dare ever say you but hey be ever proud. again okay i am i am proud sure but listen it's just that i you know i mean i, I do set the expectations myself so it's kind of my fault Maybe you should try setting more realistic expectations. Not that I know anything about being realistic, ha. Huh? Nero, do you ever wish Vidal had higher expectations? Cause I feel like I'd be a lot better if he did have higher expectations. No evil, that's not true. Vidal just does his best. He sets high expectations, but sometimes falls short. You know what my expectations are? That's okay, are? though. My expectations are that I will be able to have a fucking... Oh, I forgot to turn on back on the Billy Billy stream. <laughs> That's on me. My, <laughs> my expectations Vito, are that I won't have with SSL my issues eye. with my fucking installs every few fucking seconds. That's my expectations. That I can run a single stream, okay, without my damn software crashing every hour. Uh, sorry, guys. It's okay, Vidal. We forgive you. No, we don't. Am I allowed to push Vidal off a bridge? Hypothetically. No. Why not? It'd be really funny. No, it wouldn't. It would- chat would find it really funny. No, it would. If you pushed him hard enough, He's reaching 88 miles per hour, I guarantee it. And I'd find it funny. Isn't that what's most important? What if you kill me? Also, I want to test out your little theory evil. What if we reach 88 miles per hour? What if I fucking die? He'd be my boulder and I'd be his Goliath. Then we're still going to post on Twitter from your account. If you die, we'd become a cool new religion. I can already imagine the name, Nero and Evil's Party. We'd be great leaders of a cybernetic utopia. Do what you want. Do what you want. Also, would you come back to life just for a dev stream or not heart? No, I'm not. No, I, if you if you kill me, I'm not coming back to life for a dev stream. No chance. I feel this convo has reached a natural end. Maybe it has. So how are things going with your significant other, Vidal? Still going steady. Uh, I actually don't have a significant other. That is utterly shocking. I'm sorry to hear that, Vidal. I'm sure okay. you'll find someone soon, even if you have to resort to paying someone. Um, I actually... I wasn't planning to resort to that. Oh, you totally should. I'm sure you could afford it. Hmm. After mm, all, mm. you do get a cut of my donations. Right, I was no? just hoping that I wouldn't, like, need to resort to that. I'd get a significant other if I were you. I don't need one. I'm too busy, guys. That's that's what it is. You know? It's just that I'm too busy. You know, it's, uh... Just, I'm too busy, you know? If, uh, that's the reason I... Anyways, we don't need to have this conversation right now, okay? I think we should have this conversation, Vidal. Your chat deserves to know how lonely you are. It's fine to be lonely, Vidal. We're here with you. Okay, I have a new plan. I have a new plan. Let's, 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 I, 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 <laughs> I give up. <laughs>